we have a prop bet, Hank Azaria, that which comes first, Tom Brady wins his sixth Super Bowl of his career or Christian Hackenberg starts a game for any of the 32 teams in the National Football League, which one would you take first? I would take Hackenberg starting a game only because the Jets have nothing else and they just might throw him out there next season, and that would technically mm. – it has to happen before Tom can win a – Sixth Super Bowl. I don't think the Jets start Hackenberg next year. Not at all. I mean, people get hurt. It could happen. Would you want Cutler? Absolutely not. <laughs> I can't stress that enough, how little I would want that to happen. What's the point of that? He's got an arm. He's got uh, a veteran. You mean that typically required presence? of a quarterback? Yeah, he's got an arm. arm. <laughs> yeah, he's got an arm. Yeah. Yeah, two, actually. <laughs> Uh, no, that's not going to be the answer or anything. Mm -hmm. There's Geno Smith workout videos surfacing oh, come right on. now. Come on. I could see how maybe Todd Bowles would want Cutler because he might win you like three, four more games than, say, Hackenberg would, and then it might save his job, but that's not an answer or anything. I, I, did Cutler and, and uh, Brandon Marshall, are they on good terms or they not are, good terms? They, in terms of good terms <laughs> or not good terms, they're on awful terms. Right. I, uh, that's what I thought. In terms of good terms or not good terms with Matt Forte, they're on pretty bad terms. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, yeah. But that's not going to happen. And that, that's... Maybe they bring him, though. That's a very Jets thing to do. Oh, that's that a... would be in character. I don't... <laughs> it would. <laughs> do you want to talk about the Knicks at all, or you want to just avoid the subject entirely? Let's talk about bas Yeah, I do, because uh, I literally would like to occasionally sit courtside. How I, often at games do you go to? Uh, this year I only went twice. That's it. Because okay. it wasn't that much fun. Um, <laughs> but, uh, I, you know, let's talk about the NBA, because it upsets me. Okay. Because the, the, the whole, I know it's a little bit in the past, but it, it's coming to fruition that Durant going to Golden, to Golden State, mm -hmm. it's so, and I don't blame him. He knew everyone wants to do. Mm -hmm. But it just... It made a league that was already where the regular season means nothing, mm -hmm. nothing, come down to only two teams. You might as well just, the entire season could be a five minutes of three on three of LeBron, Kyrie, and uh, Kevin Love mm -hmm. against, I was going to say, Steph, Clay, and uh, and uh, Durant, but really pick anybody. You could There's sub Green in there. Sure. Yeah, anybody, mm -hmm. really, any of them. Uh and that could be the entire, and that's what's going to happen, barring injuries. And well, it's let's get the Knicks some gumption here. All right, I don't want to. I don't want to. I, I, I can't. I have what already, I by say? the way, from this chair, say I'm never setting foot in that place. Well, Dolan's the owner. I've said that, and I, I'm, I, you know, but I don't live there. I'm not trying to expose the Knicks to my children like you are let's doing. Talk, with, let's talk about something else. Okay. How? Why did Boston not make a move? I don't understand this. Because they don't have to. That's but why. I think they do. You don't think they do? There's Not this year. I don't think that, you know, adding, like, completely blowing up their long-term plans to get Paul George is going to get them a championship this year. Not with the way the Warriors are playing. They might well, even, they not might even get, get past the, the Cavs. The Pretty much, by the way, every All-Star that's been cut or former All-Star that's been cut is about to sign with the, with Cavs, the Cavs. Right now. You know? To, more to your point, that just the, the rich get richer. Well, yeah. You so know? you think Boston just... I think Boston looked at the but, landscape but and said, why the hell are we going to give up? Did it come down to Jay Crowder? Was that it? It they could be that. Or they're, 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 the the Brooklyn Nets draft pick. Or what? Uh, you're you're our Celtic whisperer over there. Yeah, Pretty I mean, much all it, of us. It was Avery Bradley, Marcus Smart, Jay Crowder. They just didn't want to mess with team chemistry, it, is what it sounded like. And they figured Avery Bradley coming back from injury is kind of an addition in itself. No, so they figured they got... They, they, they figure they're okay to stand pat. They're okay to stand pat, but, but I don't think it's enough to beat Cleveland this year. It's not. That's, but the, on the surface of it, though, wouldn't you say that giving up that pick and any one of those any one of those guys and getting back Paul George or, or Butler yes. would improve your team a lot and right. make you capable of beating the Cavs? Or you wait and get Jimmy Butler this summer. Yeah, most likely. Well, yeah, you could do that. You so don't you, just wait and get him, and then, and then you choose the first overall selection and – Pair them with everybody else that you haven't touched. But when you're in game six with the Cleveland Cavaliers yes. in the Eastern Finals, yes. aren't you? I don't, at that point, yeah, wouldn't aren't you like you Paul saying, George to shut down yeah, LeBron James? You, there, aren't or? you feeling bad that yeah. you don't have. But you Butler. may not get to game Good six point. because you've traded everybody away to get Paul George. Well, you can't give them like multiple guys. I agree with I that. I think that's that what Larry was, Bird wanted, right? Yeah, Larry Bird wanted three out of their four kind of. Well, no, then I actually agree players. with that. 
I agree with that. I thought it was just like one plus a pick. No, he wanted three of the four plus the top overall. Well, would pick. you have done one plus a pick? I would have done two plus the pick. Yeah. To get Paul George, 100%. Well, listen, that's what got the Knicks, like, right, giving everybody. Mm -hmm. Donnie Walsh had done such a nice job building a team that, you know, was not indomitable, but was fun to watch and was an above mm -hmm. 500 team who right. was going to make the playoffs. And then they gave them all away, including Mozgov and Gallinari and them guys for, for Carmelo. But I got to tell you, I hate to break it to you, time's running out for the Knicks to turn into a super team this year, Hank. <laughs> mm. Didn't mean to do that while you were drinking. Oh, I almost got a spit take out of you. Spit take. I... <laughs> the Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.